do you have very good writing skills and are you very good in english then probably you don't need this video but if you are someone struggling with writing tasks like emails or letters or even academic writing then i'm sure this video will be really useful for you i have introduced chat gpt in a previous video and how to start using that so in this video i will show you how to use chat gpt to improve your writing it can be everyday writing tasks like emails or letters or even it can be specific tasks like literature review in academic writing okay let's start with writing an email let's say you have to write an email to show your expression of interest for a phd opportunity so most of the time when we start writing we don't have a proper understanding how to structure our email so we can use chat gpt to give us an structure to write our email so let's ask chat gpt to give a structure ChatGPT has generated the structure. So having a structure like this is very important. Rather than starting an email with a blank page, you can also ask ChatGPT to make it more specific. So let's say we are applying for a PhD in in the field of uh, cancer. So, like I said, when we ask to specify the email for a particular need, so in this case, I have specified my need and my my requirement to apply for a PhD in cancer. So it has generated an email that is specific for this field. So if you are in any other field, you can mention your field and ChatGPT will generate an email. So this is not a complete email, obviously, because you have to fill build and modify according to your needs but still having this as a starting point will be really useful when writing a good email and if you are not uh, satisfied with this uh, output you can ask that dp to regenerate the response so it will give it will uh, generate another response which will be more suitable so if i click on generate response it generate another response and uh, you can select between these different responses and uh, select the structure you need so when i uh, generate another response you can see that uh, at the beginning of our question it shows two out of two which means that it is at the moment it is showing the second response so if we want to go back to the first response we can click on this arrow and it will show our first response so this uh, by generating different responses you can go through them and uh, select the best uh, email structure you like and then use that and modify that and write your own email so similarly you can get the help of chat gpt to write any other email for any other job positions as well right for example i can ask chat gpt to write an email for entry level job position in accounting
So you may have noticed that I used the keyword structure when I wanted the structure for my email. So you can use the same keyword to get a structure for any other writing task. For example, let's say I need a structure for an essay. So here I asked to give me a structure to write an essay on climate change and uh, it provided me a structure. So using the right keyword is important when communicating with a language model so that it knows exactly what I need. And if I am not happy with this structure, I can ask it to regenerate. Uh, and of course we can uh, modify it according to our need when we write the essay. So you can use this structure, the keyword structure to get a structure for any writing task like an email, essay, article, a blog post or any other writing task. So in these responses, maybe sometimes you are not satisfied with particular paragraphs. So if you, are, if you want to change any of those paragraphs, you can uh, copy that paragraph and use the keyword rephrase and press shift plus enter and copy that paragraph. So what this will do is it will write the same paragraph in different words. And then again you can click on regenerate response to get any other way of writing the same paragraph. And by going through all this response and select the paragraph you like. So this is the potential of ChatGPT. It can write uh, with different uh, language structures and different styles. Another writing task that we may encounter is uh, writing cover letters for job positions. So ChatGPT is also capable of writing cover letters. So in this example, I will ask ChatGPT to write a cover letter for a research assistant position in a biotechnology lab. So we got our cover letter and just like we did previously, we can ask the GP to modify it or even to generate a new response. And also we can also ask the GP to limit the number of words. So let's ask the GPT to make the letter a little bit shorter. So we have got the shorter version. So if we check the previous response, it has like one, two, three, four, five paragraphs. And in this one, it has reduced the number of paragraphs into four. So likewise, uh, by communicating with the model, you can modify the response and get exactly what you need. So when we apply for jobs, we also send a resume. We can use ChatGPT to even to give us a structure for our resume.
So it generate the structure for your resume and also it uh, advises you that uh, this is a basic template and uh, you can add or remove sections according to your needs. Other than asking ChatGPT to generate text for you, you can use ChatGPT to evaluate your own writing. So I have a paragraph that I need to get evaluated. So I can use the keyword evaluate and ask the model to evaluate the following paragraph. And press shift plus enter and copy my paragraph. So you can see that it has evaluated the paragraph and describes the meaning and overall understanding of that paragraph. So this is very important to have the ability to evaluate your own writing. So it's like getting an advice from a professional who is good in writing. You can also ask the model to rewrite the same paragraph in more advanced English. So this way you can convert your own writing into more advanced or a better style of writing. Another capability of ChatGPT is to summarize written text. So let's say you have a research article and that uh, you are too lazy to read through all the introduction part. So what you can do is you can copy the introduction some paragraphs and ask ChatGPT to summarize it for you. The keyword we have to use is summarize. The following paragraph. Use shift plus enter and copy the paragraph. So you can see the paragraph we entered is a very long paragraph, actually several paragraphs and the model has summarized all those paragraphs into a single paragraph with a simple language. So it is easier for us to read and understand. So by going through this summary we can understand what uh, these paragraphs are explaining in the research article. So this summary is written in a more general language than the research article. So it is kind of paraphrasing the paragraph and also summarizing it. Another keyword that we can use to paraphrase this kind of a paragraph is rephrase. We used this keyword previously as well. So we'll use the keyword rephrase and uh, ask the ask to rephrase the following paragraph. Previously, we used the keyword summarize and this time we used the keyword rephrase. So in both instances, we are getting a paraphrased version of the text from the research article. So up to now, we used our own text uh, to summarize or to rephrase. But there may be some instances uh, like we need a summary of a book. 
so there is a book that i know called silent spring so i will ask the model to summarize the book for me so this time i am not providing any text so i am just asking the model to summarize the book silent spring let's see what we get so if you have read silent spring you know that this is a very accurate summary so likewise you can also try any other book that you know and uh, try to get a summary you can also check whether chat gpt is capable of giving us a summary of any research articles i search a topic in google scholar and uh, i will copy the topic of the research article that i am interested in and ask chatgp to summarize that for me so it has given me a summary and uh, if i need a longer summary i can ask to write a longer summary but something we have to keep in mind is that uh, this model is based on the data before 2021 if you search research articles after 2021 most probably you won't get a proper response so in academic writing our next step would be to write a literature review so maybe we can ask that dpt to write us a literature review about microplastics so let's try that so it has generated a literature review but uh, it doesn't have citations so maybe we can ask the model to include the citations as well so i will ask to write a literature review on microplastics with citations
So you can see that it included all the citations and also it generated the reference list which is amazing. So this is the importance of using the right keywords. So if you just ask it to write a literature review, it will write a literature review but it won't add the citations. But if you use the keyword citations then it will add citations and also a reference list. So with this output you should understand the potential of this model. And uh, I think you should try it by yourself and you can share your experience in the comment section.